Hey you guys, so I've been um still out walking, uh, knocking on doors and um you know there's two reasons why candidates uh walk and knock on doors in the district and one is to ask for votes and to try to get votes that way and um you know the second is to actually listen to what the public wants and to make sure that your concerns are the priority of the candidate and I learned that uh, doing it taking the latter route and um truly listening to the people will in turn um, gain you their trust and their vote of confidence as well. So, you know, that's the approach I've been taking. So you'll see me at one door for five, ten minutes listening, even taking notes because, uh, you know, I think that's the right way to do it. The first, I actually hadn't, didn't have much of a platform. I had some ideas, but I made sure that I uh, went, I walked the whole district first before I even came out with a platform piece. And that's, um, that's what you received the second time around is um, our, our priorities, all our priorities. Is, uh, because that's what it is. Yeah, it's not just uh, leadership where you're forcing an agenda upon a group of people, but rather um, true public service where uh, everybody helps craft a priority at this campaign. And, uh, represent representative democracy is um, is about public interest and what the people really want so um, that's that's why I walk so I know um, my opponent has been doing, has been walking as well and um, yeah you know George he's a he's a good guy and I think he he has an idea of how to make this district and uh, this state a better place and um, and he's passionate about it I think the difference is the type of policies that we support. It's not personal at all. And um, I hope the campaign steers away from being personal in, in any way, shape, or form. And all the um, petty things end, and the, you know, the signage and um, lies and whispers. I hope that all dissolves and that we can focus on the issues. And because that's really what sets us apart. You know, my opponent, he, um, he publicly stated on numerous occasions that he, uh, isn't into the idea of social justice that he uh, there's a there's a questionnaire that said uh, would you greatly decrease there's a five point scale to um, greatly increase maintain levels um, or slightly increase you know, slightly decrease he picked greatly decrease any form of social welfare or social safety net programs here on Hawaii that was his message in um in a KCA event last election cycle he's stated that he, he would uh, support eliminating any form of social safety net here on Hawaii and now um, you know that's that's what made me um, really push me to run for this seat because uh, that affected me personally when I was uh, about 11 years old my father unexpectedly and suddenly passed away and he was a sole source of income for our household so my mom was faced with uh, with the reality of uh, raising four kids on her own and, um, you know, it wasn't, she wasn't in that financial hardship because she wasn't a hard worker. My mom was, was probably the, if you ever get a chance to meet her, um, you know, she's probably one of the hard, hardest working people I've ever met. And, um, you know, it's not, it's not a choice. It's we're, we're put in this situation and, um, you know, thanks to help um, from the community and government, it was, it, it allowed, it allowed us to have a fair shot to succeed. And honestly, if it wasn't for those social safety net programs, I would not have gotten through high school, let alone college. So I would not be where I am, who I am today. And, um, you know, I think that's what Maui's about. That's Maui's style is, is working hard, but making sure that, that any opportunity you have and any um, fortune that you receive, you're able to give back and help out um, those that are less fortunate. And that's, that's aloha. That's Maui's style, and um, you know I think that's what that's where my opponent and I differ in terms of um, values. It's not a time in terms of personality. It's not in terms of heart, but it's um, in very essential values like that. So um, yeah, I had a lot of questions about um, you know why why people, you should support me and not him, and um, really it's it's up to you. And if you feel that you're more in line with his values of you know, individualism and um, a zero-sum world type of thing, then, you know, maybe he's your guy. But if, if you feel like we're all in this together and that um, that we should strive to get ahead, but in our quest to climb the ladder, we don't stomp on anybody else, then if you believe in community, you believe in working together, and you believe in um, fostering a better Maui 20 and 50 years from now for, 
future generations, then I ask for your support. So um, yeah, I hope that uh, clarifies some. And uh, you know, if I haven't met you yet, um, we can meet you very soon. This is a lay from uh, Cora, <laughs> uh, Flowers by Cora and uh, Kihei Waleo McKenna. It's a, a shop at Azeka's place, and uh, she led this to me uh, in our fundraiser, our chicken heck of fundraiser on um, on Wednesday. So uh, kept it fresh in the fridge and been walking with it. And, um, Smells great. So, uh, thanks a lot, Cora, and um, yeah, thanks, thanks everybody for listening. A lot.